Whether it's maxing out your theme team, building up that God Squad, or maybe copping an extra card for Weekend League, take a look at my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest coins and the best service out there. Use code JOCK at checkout for 5% off your order. There will be a link in the description. YouTube, what's up, boys? How we doing? Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at the top five power backs in Madden 21 Ultimate Team right now. These style videos are going to give us a chance to space out our college uh, team builder videos throughout the summer. And these videos are also going to give me more time to build the college theme teams instead of, you know, building a team in a day and then selling it later that night. And, uh, you know, wash, rinse, repeat going throughout the entire summer. Just going to be way too absurd. But before we get into this list, if you are new to the channel, I would greatly appreciate if you smack that sub button. Say what's up down in the comments and leave a like on today's video. If we can hit 100, I think I think the golden number is going to be 100 throughout the summer. You know, if you if you boys could bless me with 100 likes, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, getting right into it, we're probably going to go like every other day with these top five. And I'm going to go by archetypes. So we've got like elusive back, receiving back, uh, power back. Obviously, the golden tickets, you guys know, get more than one archetype for different ability slots. So like Ezekiel Elliott. It's going to be in this list. Yeah, I think that's the only goal and take we have, but like Benny Snell would qualify. And same goes for quarterbacks, receivers, every position. But uh, we're going to go by archetype. I don't really know if anyone on YouTube does that. Hopefully not. Hopefully we're the only one. So hopefully that's more like specific and tailored to what you guys are actually looking for. Instead of just doing a broad top five quarterbacks, we can do like top five scrambler, top five pocket passer or... I don't think pocket pass is an archetype, but like field general, stuff like that. But yeah, getting started with our top five today, we have three honorable mentions that are not inside the top five. Number one being Derrick Henry, and I know he's a really popular card. You see him like almost all the time. He literally just ran for 2,000 yards. Uh, he's got really low agility and really low change direction, 88s for both of those. And you know, Juke's 93. He's got decent stats at, at, and he's 6'3", so there's like the air truck stuff like that, but you know, Derrick Henry's not going to make the top five. And then there's two more running backs in our honorable mentions list, uh, Adrian Peterson, this is a solid card. It's just that I used him on the Lions theme team and it was just he was just kind of underwhelming. Like JD McKissick was outperforming this dude. And then we have Michael Turner, again, another card, 89 agility. Just not gonna really break that long run. There's a couple cards in our top five that aren't gonna break long runs. But Michael Turner is just kind of, I feel like, an underwhelming card. But coming in at number five, we have Jerome Bettis. He is 5'11", 256 pounds. You might be thinking, like, Jock, ja, come on now. Like, you got Derrick Henry in the honorable mention, but Jerome Bettis makes a top five. But, dude, this guy is going to get literally every single falling forward animation in the book. He's 256 pounds, bro. Literally the bus. He's got 95 speed powered up to 96. So he's going to have 98 speed with Sprinter, which is solid. High acceleration, 96. Agility is in 90. 94 strength. I mean, his trucking stats are just absolutely disgusting. 98 carrying, 99 ball carrier vision, uh, 99 trucking, 97 stiff arm, 99 break tackle. This card is going to be a monster in the trenches for you boys. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a solid power back, but like goal line, I mean, goal line work, you know, any work inside the five yard line, this dude's going to be an absolute monster so that's number five jerome bettis coming in at number four we've got herschel walker as a 98 i used this card when i had the vikings theme team and this card you know he gets 99 speed stock so all you got to do is power him up get sprinter on him 99 speed solid he's got 91 strength 97 excel 94 agility 92 jumping those stats you know the 97 excel is nice and agility is pretty high too but he's got 97 trucking 94 change of direction which is solid 94 st or 95 stiff arm my bad 98 break tackle 95 carrying 98 juke this card can basically do it all catching isn't going to be really that good you can see his short route running is kind of bad but we're not looking for that we're looking for a power back herschel walker is an absolute freak of nature this card plays i mean he's got solid stats but this card plays better than his stats i'm not gonna lie herschel walker absolute goon pretty sure he's got a series redux that you can power up and he gets a goal 99 overall but, uh, you know, I would I would strongly recommend Herschel Walker if you're looking to test out a new power back. I used him for probably a little bit over a month, and uh, this card's just absolutely solid. Gets a lot of animations. He's 6'1", 225, so, you know, solid size, solid weight. And, uh, you know, this card's just an absolute beast. So, Herschel Walker, I feel like, deserves to be in this top five. And, you know, over Derrick Henry, some of you might not agree with me, but this card plays amazing. And then coming in at number three, honestly, kind of a sleeper pick. I did not think... I don't think I've really used this card a ton, but uh, I did not think this card was going to be a top three running back and in the power back archetype, but uh, Willis McGahee, NFL draft promo, he's a 99 overall, he's only 170k, which is crazy, very cheap, he's 6 foot, 235 pounds, and he's going to get 99 speed with sprinter, he's got 97 excel, which is very good, 93 agility, solid, uh, strength and jumping doesn't really matter. He's got 97 trucking, which is really good. Change of direction, 93, solid. 96 stiff arm, 98 break tackle, 98 carrying, 95 juke, 93 spin. So this card is just absolutely solid. I think he gets a lot of theme teams too. Bills, Ravens, uh, Browns. I'm not sure if there's a fourth team there might be. 
But uh, this card, it, it's way better than the Peterson card. He beats him in every single stat, I'm pretty sure. Maybe besides, like, trucking might be one off. He's 97 to 98. But Willis McGahee, absolutely solid card. He's 6 foot 235, like I said. But this is a card you can probably use a uh, tank on if you're going to be running the ball a lot. You know, where, where if the defense hit sticks to you, they automatically bounce off and fall over. Or you could use arm bar. You could use a uh, bulldozer, any of that stuff. But Willis McGahee is going to be a solid you know, if, if you're running power eye, if you're running any formation like that, Willis McGahee is going to be one of, if not the best running back that you could, well, actually not the best running back. He's number three. And I mean, maybe a little Bills bias in there to get my Bills card, but I, I'm pretty sure Willis McGahee's a top three. And we're already, dude, I might have to bump this up to top 10 because I don't know how fast I'm going. It honestly doesn't really matter to me if we have ads on this or not, but uh, our number two on our list is Bo Jackson. Where is he? Right here. No, 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 right here. 99 overall ultimate legend. This card is an absolute freak of nature. He's 6'1", 227 pounds, so similar size to a Herschel Walker. He's got 99 speed stock, 98 excel, 97 agility, 93 strength, 97 jumping. Uh, this card's just an absolute freak. Then his ball carrier stats, 96 stiff arm, 99 break tackle, 94 ball carrier, 96 change of direction, which is actually glitchy as hell, 99 trucking, 91 spin move, and 96 juke move. So this card, I'm assuming, gets literally every uh, ability in the book. And uh, you don't even need to power him up if you didn't want to. I mean, you could just to bump up like his excel, his agility. But like with cons, you're pretty much solid. It's Bo Jackson and it's EA. So you know EA sucking off Bo Jackson all the time. Like if you look at Bo Jackson's stats, like he, he really wasn't all that in the NFL. He was a freak athlete. Don't get me wrong. But he never had like a season where like, holy shit, like this is one of the best running backs of all time. EA just loves Bo Jackson, probably because he had like the Tecmo or Techno Bowl or whatever that video game was back in the day. I wasn't born, so I don't know what it's called, but Bo Jackson coming at number two. And literally the only reason Bo Jackson isn't number one is because there's a golden ticket that was literally perfectly made. And you guys saw it on the thumbnail. I'm assuming you guys know who it is. But uh, Bo Jackson, very solid power back. Uh, pretty much 1A and 1B with the card that's up next. So when you filter by power back, uh, we, we're not going to get the golden tickets because technically there's different ability slots for different golden tickets. But if we take this off and we just filter by running back, we're going to find our number one overall guy right here, Ezekiel Elliott, 196K. So significantly cheaper than Bo. Significantly cheaper. But was, it, was that the LTD that I put on Bo? I'm not sure if Bo is that expensive, but Ezekiel Elliott, 99 overall, only 196K. He's got 97 speed, 98 acceleration. So he's going to get 99 speed with Sprinter. Obviously, you can't power up golden tickets. So this is going to be a card you can just buy right off the bat, put Sprinter on him, plug him in your lineup and go. He's got 98 jumping, 88 strength, a little bit low, but I, I'm not sure if that really matters. He's got 97 agility. And then if you take a look at his ball carrying stats, these stats are just absolutely disgusting. 99 trucking, 99 break tackle, 98 stiff arm, 99 ball carry, 97 change of direction, 99 juke move, 99 carrying, and uh, and uh, what's it called? 97 spin move. I think I said ball carrier vision and carrying. I might have mixed those up, but they're both 99, so it doesn't really matter. And then you can look at the ability slots right here. He gets three abilities for elusive back, a power back slot, and a receiving back slot. And take a look at this, this card's receiving stats. 89 catching, 88 short route running. That's like pretty good. 85 catching traffic, 86 back catch. Like, those are pretty good stats for a running back. So this running back can, or, I mean, Zeke can basically do it all. Six foot, 225 pounds, under 200K. Like, how could you go wrong with this card? I, I literally don't know. This is just a beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful golden ticket. Unfortunately, it's Zeke. I'm not a real big Zeke fan. It would have been cool if this was like maybe Dalvin Cook or uh, maybe like AJ Dillon or someone like that. But, uh, you know, whoever made it wanted to make a Zeke card. And uh, this card crossed the board. You've got to, you, I think you've got to give him one. Like there's no running back list where he doesn't get one. I think he's the best running back in the game all around, not even just for power backs, for receiving backs and elusive backs too. But uh, we're going to get into those lists, you know, later down the road, maybe next week or something like that. But I feel like starting off this series, our top five series with, uh, with power backs, I feel like that's a pretty decent start. And we'll get into quarterbacks, receivers, then some defensive guys. And, uh, and you know, we could, we could probably wrap up the summer doing this kind of stuff, but you know, hopefully you guys like this style of content. If you don't agree with my top five, or maybe I missed someone, let me know down in the comments. I'm willing to, you know, debate with you boys and, uh, you know, make sure you like comment, subscribe, you know, turn on post notice. If you're new to the channel, we're going to be doing this stuff for probably the rest of the summer. And then in Madden 22, we'll start back up the Bills theme team series along with the no money spend series. So a lot of big things coming. I will be streaming tonight on Twitch, playing you guys, uh, at father Jock over there at probably like around 8 PM Eastern. So I'll see you boys there. That being said, that's our top five list, our first top five list of Madden 21. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.